Good evening YouTube, welcome back to the channel. You are joining us, us, the usual three, the three amigos, the three musketeers. What others are in three? Uh, I know. I know I'm double turning. Yeah, yeah. Good, good things come in threes, is that a saying? I don't know. Anyway, there's me, there is Pete, and there is Mark there, and we are in Fruit Adventura. We landed about three hours ago and we have got to the apartment, got our stuff ready, taken an hour long drive south from Coletta to Handia. So we're now at Handia, we're walking along the footpath to get onto the beach and we're gonna see if we can get something big on the first night here. So we're gonna get down there, it's a bit dark, we're gonna get our lights on, navigate our way down to the beach and show you what we're doing hopefully show you some fish so i'll get back in a minute right we're on the beach my rods are there behind me see them there they are up ready to get rigs on mark's getting his rigs on he's never fished here before so he's a bit excited so he is there oh look at him there he is sporting the uh new gsp uh merch look at that fish on the brain t-shirt t-shirts are available now so check out the description below and it tells you how to get the t-shirts and there's a link in there for the video showing you all the designs we've got Anyway, Pete is up the other end. He's just setting up one of his rods. I'm gonna get rigs clipped on now. We're gonna get the big bait out first, and then we'll go with the scratching one. Right, as the sea is rolling quite a bit, I think it's quite good for a possible chance of a bluefish. So instead of putting that up and over, which will pin a bait to the bottom, I am gonna put a pulley rig on, which lets it flap around a little bit. So getting out pulley rig which I will recommend to Mark as well and then I'm putting a 170 on there to balance the bait out and this is a 170 I've just had to put a green cap on it because I had a 170 in my cupboard that was missing a cap so I've just put a green cap on it I know they're the 130 caps but uh, I can assure you it's a 170 and then what we've got here is super duper pulley rig now this is made with 80 pound uh, black magic fluorocarbon really um, really tough fluorocarbon it's um, really good abrasion resistance on that and this is about two and a half foot long and then on this end we've got two black magic hooks as well so we've got the 6 -0, um, um, I can't remember, C point, 60 C point, and then you've got the offset as well, which is 4 0. So I'm going to get this clipped onto the rod, and as you can see on these bigger rigs, there's no pulley beads or anything. I don't want any pulley beads because uh, they get caught on this sticker mono. It's a straight um, power swivel there, a couple of beads either side just to boom it off um, a little bit. They act as a, as a boom tiny little boom there just to keep it away from the lines gonna get it clipped on now and then get this baited up nice big strong clip straight to a big swivel simple very simple no gadgets no funny bait clips rig clips just straight simple terminal tackle because if we get something big we don't want things to fail Right, you can either go with a pulley rig, yeah. standard pulley rig, and what that will do is, in this, your bait will be moving around, a bit on the bottom, coming up off the bottom, flapping around. Um, so, possible chance of a bluefish, um, obviously angel shark, rays, or you can go with an up and over rig, yeah. that will just pin your bait to the ground and gives you more chance of a ray picking it up but then you're just going for rays. So it's either a pulley rig, 
Yeah, Pulley rig, yeah, I would as well with this rough sea, a bit like this. Yeah, I'll get one out now. Right, I'm going to put on one of these little scad horse mackerel as bait. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically take the tail off, just like that. And I'm showing Mark how to do it as well, because it's the first time he's baiting them up. The tail off, so it sits like that. Then, on the rig, I'm basically, mate, not too worried about thread, not worried about threading this through anything. Yeah. I'm just going to take the big hook yeah. above the fin there, down towards the head, and coming out light around about the eye, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Move that out of the way, like that. Then with a the heavy bait elastic, the elastic that on, like so. All the way up. And then when I get to like, I don't know, a couple of inches from the end, I'll try and get that on the top half above the, above the spine. Get that out there like that. And then just carry on bait elasticing all the way up, yeah? So it's come out the opposite side top half is just a little bit more firmer than the bottom half. Always oh, just tuck that around like that. And that is on there, ready to go. Voila. Voila mate, nice and straight. Oh, Hooked in, yeah? yeah. Double one one side, one the other side. I'll go and do my version of that. Now. You do your version of that. Again, I'm keeping it very simple on this. I've just got a bent rig clip. Clip that up, just like that. And we'll get that out now, I think. Right, let's get the cast out and I'll show you what I'm using this on. I'm gonna go around this way. Make sure this doesn't get tangled. The sea is quite rough. Just want to time this so I don't get wet like that. I am soaked. Lovely. All right, let's go. All right, let's fly down there. Let's fly. Done. Right. I am soaked already. Right, tighten down on this a little bit, so I'll feel it, come on, I am going to get this up in the rest actually, oh what's that mate, hold on I'll come over in a minute, I'm just getting this to settle, I'll get a bait runner on this in a minute, getting this up higher so they Leaning forward a bit, like there. Oh, there was a knock. What the hell was that? All right, come on. Do that. Up. All right. That is tight. Done. Right, let's have a look at marks. Lovely jubbly mate, that All is right. perfect mate. Yeah, that's yeah. absolutely fine. Clip that up mate. Yeah. If you've got a... Probably better on that mate. One, yeah. You put it better on that, there's more chance of it coming off than, okay. than the top one. So put it on that. I'm gonna get my bite alarms on here. If you, if you wanna walk a little bit that way then, Mark, yeah? Just up there a bit and whack it out. And I'll get Pete to do the same the other way. Pete. Hey. 
Pete. Well, you're big bait, mate. Are you happy to just walk down that way and put it in there? Yeah. So we're 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 well apart. So this is out there now, this rod, fishing for big fish, and I'll just show you what I'm going with. Basically, I've got on any fish anywhere. It is a, I think it's a 14 foot. Did I put it on it? I've rebuilt it. It's a 13 foot, any fish anywhere, 13 foot, six and bait. Um, matched onto that, I've got the Spin Fisher 8,500 live liner. So that's got the bait runner function at the bank. I've got 65 pound braid on that. That goes all the way through to 45 kilo leader, which then goes down to the pulley rig that you see. I've also got a little bite alarm on there that when line gets taken, it will go off. And when my light's not shining on it, that blue light shows out, sticks out like a sore thumb, and I know when I've got a bite. Bouncing about a bit though, there's a bit of surf, but we'll soon know when something takes our bait. Lovely cast, mate. That's flown out there. Sorry? That's flown out there. Lovely, mate. So, on my Sonic Gravity, oh, don't wanna lose that. Sonic Gravity is basically having a two at flapper on it. Um, a 150, so I've got a 150 lid on that. And then a two at flapper, but basically what it's got is bait holder hooks. So we've got the Sakuma bait holder hooks on that. And we're going to put half a prawn on each one of these and get that out, see if we can get some decent bream or something. Um, I mean, on an open beach, they're not hearing numbers, but you can scratch around and get the odd one or two and sometimes you'll get something really big and obscure like a big gilt head or something so it's well worth doing this and it just gives you something to watch whilst you're waiting for your big rod to go off oh oh yep 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 Yep. What have we got here? I just stopped the camera, but I just had a nice slack line on this. I don't know what it is. It feels like it might be an angel shark. It's sort of an angel shark bite, and it's fighting as badly as an angel shark. So, um,. It's definitely not a bluefish, it's not running. And it's coming in very quick. It's got a bit of weight. But uh let's see what we've got here. Let's see what we've got here. Oh gives you arm, mate. Right, that's holding down there. Where is it? He's in close-ish. Where is he? Just down there somewhere. I think it's an angel shark. It's fighting very badly. Or is it a big, what is it? Down there somewhere. Is it a little stinger? We got a little stingray. Yeah, there's a little ray. Got a little ray here. Got to be careful in this surfy water. Right, I'll get him up here with this. There he comes. Come on, mate. 
Oh. Come here. As he slides away. Man, come up on that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now. Up you come. 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 There he is. There he is. Right. Be gentle with him. Get him over here. Right, there we go there. Little stigma, you probably about seven pound or so. So uh, has he had his, uh, he's been caught. Oh no, he has, got, uh, he's got his barb there. Lovely, let's get him unhooked and we're getting back. Right, there we go, I've wrapped his tail very gently. Pick him up this way. Getting down to the water's edge. There he is, here comes the water. And off here go. There he goes, nose up. Away he's gone. Lovely. Well, that first little stingray on the first cast made a right mess. Right mess of my rig, right mess of the bait. Swallowed it though, I was standing next to the other rod, clipping the, uh, just about clip the rig on. And I saw the, saw the big rod just bow down over and then come up slack. So I think he felt the weight of the rod and the line and started to come in with it. But he didn't muck around on it. And if there's that out there, then it's pretty rough. There's gonna be anything. So, bait this up again and get this back out. Just got to make sure to take the bite alarm off before I cast. There we go. And voila. I'll get that drag set right. That's good on the drag, I think. Yep. That's good, right. Let's get this out. Simple overhead thump on this. Yeah, that's out there, nice. I can get tight on this pretty quick. It's a shallow beach, so I'm not too worried. It's from probably only fishing in about six foot, eight foot of water out there, maybe. They're shallow beaches. It's in the world rest. Again. down tight on that but alarm back on we're ready to roll right so we've got a raw king prawn take the head off and go in chum the waters we will take all the shell off this de-shell it and then as it's night time we can basically snap that in half like that Two equal halves. Mark's just putting his out with thread one on like this. Get that round onto the hook, like so. And put the other half on the bottom. And we have just got to uh, get some bait elastic on that. Got some fine bait elastic because nuisance fish will peck that to pieces. So we're bait elastic this up and get this out. There we 
Here we go. Here we go. Let's launch this out. Pete's down there. My line's there, so we're going to go that way. Need to do is get tip light on that in a minute, but getting that into the seabed. That's there. I'll get the tip lights out and get them ready, and then get that back on. Have you missed it, mate? Oh, his bream rig just went over. Has he? No? What you got? You've got your first fish in Fruit Aventura. <laughs> Is it a striped bream? Let's have a look. It's the same shape as a striped bream, but it's... Um, it's like... Well, you got a fish? Yep. Yeah? Well, right, Pete's got a fish. Pete's got a fish. Keep an eye on him, Robs. Good one or a little one? Keep tight on him, mate. Don't let it go slack like that. Yeah? Don't let it go slack. It's supposed to do it when I get a bite, but it's too windy. Come on, Pete. How's it going? Yeah. It's quieting a bit. Yeah. It's quieting a bit. Let's have a look what you've got. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Your trousers are falling down. It's quieting. What is it? You got a blue fish? Right, I'm going to go down and have a look, see what he's got. He's coming close. I mean, he's there. Keep reeling, Pete. Where are you, mate? You're down here somewhere. I did see, just see a glimpse of something then. What's he got? What has he got? Has he got an angel shark? It's not a blue, I can definitely tell you that for now. Well, I'm wet, I'm soaked now. Where's his line? On this, on this, Pete! Right. Come on, on this, get it up. It's got a ray, a little ray. Could be the same one I had. There we go. There we go. Well done, <laughs> um, I don't think it is. I don't think it is the same one that I caught. It's the same size though, mate. It's the same size. Yeah. Right, he's well hooked. Let's just get him over there, mate, and we'll get him unhooked. Here comes the seat. Right, if I can get it down here. He will slide himself back in on the next big wave. Go on then, mate. There he goes. Go on, float the way. Once they get in the water, they tend to let the water under their wings. And they go off themselves. Just like that. Lovely. Well done, Pete. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Cheers. What's Mark doing? He's got, I better see my bream rug. It keeps bouncing. Yeah, I think we've got a bream on here. Let's just uh, bring this in. I think I've hooked something. No, I haven't. I've been stripped. I've been stripped. Oh, he's got a nice fish on here, isn't he? On the bream rig. 
Is it on a bream rig? Yeah, mate. That's got a good bend in that tip, mate. Yeah. Good bend in that tip. Go on, Mark. We got you. I can see something. You got two. Oh, is it foul hooked? Ah, you on my line. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Go on. Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's why there's a good bend in your rod. Mark's in again on his bream rod. Has he got another auxiliary bream? They always feel light when they get like close in and then the last bit they give a little kick. No. no. Or they they sometimes they sometimes feel light mate because there's nothing on them as well. Yeah. But you've been yeah, stripped. Like yeah. yeah. So Mark's just got his third auxiliary bream. Auxiliary bream, sorry, auxiliary bream. There it is there. Well done mate. You may not have uh, something on your big rod yet, but you've definitely uh, had a bit on your scratching, haven't you? A little bit of action on there. A little bit of action. Keeps it busy, doesn't it, mate? Yeah. I mean, uh, this, as well. these okay. are the um, sort of stamp of the size of auxiliary green that you get, really. They don't get, you may get four or five hundred grammar, but these are the size of the shoals that roam these beaches. Great bluefish bait. Bluefish would smash that. <laughs> anyway, well done mate. So I think we're getting to about high tide now. Um, high tide's half 11, 12-ish. I think more half 11. Had a bit of action, just keeping an eye on the rods. The sea's very rough. So big surf rolling in, hitting the lines, knocking the leads out, putting the leads out. A little bit of weed in the water, which is a bit unusual, but you do get it now and again. Um, still some fish about, we haven't blanked, everyone's caught. No one's had anything big yet. There's still time. We're probably not going to do a full session as it's getting towards midnight and we've been traveling all day. But we've managed to get a session in. We've driven an hour down to, to Handia to fish this sandy beach. I uh, haven't fished it for a while, for a few years. Had some good butterfly rays up here. So we know the fish are about at times. They're about at the moment, but they're just not big. Um, I always find it fishes a bit better on the ebb. So let's give it an hour into the ebb, see what happens. So, Mark, we'll go over to Pete in a minute, who's got something. What's Mark got this time? Another, are you over your line? You're a nightmare, you are. Go around your rod. So he's got another one. What's that, your fourth one? Your fourth auxiliary bream? What? There we go, mate. Right. I'll let you unhook now. I'll go and see Pete. What's Pete got? What have you got, mate? Oh, and Pete's got a weed fish. Look at that, Pete. They're quite rare. I think what it is, it's channeling this corner. Is it really? And it's just getting caught in the surf, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, see how it goes. We've got a monster! Yeah, lion! Yeah, we got a big boy! Here we go, look at that. He's screaming, he's screaming. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. what is this? Oh! I've still got it, yeah. Woo! What is this? Oh, there he goes. What is this? He's coming in, he's coming in. What is going on here? He's coming in, what is this? Oh, what is it? It doesn't feel like a... It doesn't feel like... Can you get your lines in, Pete? Going your way, mate. What have we got? What 
what have we got here? We got a good fish out. Pete! No, don't do it! No! No! I don't know where I am, mate. Am I under you? Lift yours up, mate! Yeah, lift yours up. I think I'm under you, ain't I? Yeah. Over the top? Am I over you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is kiting. You what? Yeah, okay. I'm following this fish wherever it's going. Is it a butterfly, Ray? It's right in close. Whatever it is. Oh, he's taking me for a little journey. Oh, there it goes. That is not, that is not a ray. I'm telling you now, that is not a ray, man. What is this? Is this a shark? It's not a ray. I'm telling you that. There it is. What is it? We got a shark. We've got a nice shark. Is it a taupe? Is it a big smoothie? Right there, mate. Right there, mate, don't pull it. Right, is it a big smoothie? Is it a taupe? Right, here it comes. Right there. Right there. Right there, mate. Right there. I'll get it in. Good size, isn't it? I'm gonna get wet here. Is it a tote? <sighs> nice! Nice, nice, nice. Right, what is it? Got a nice big smoothie here. And when I say big, he's gonna be 25, I think. He's a smooth hound, common smooth hound this is. Wow. It's out, right, we're gonna try and weigh him. So, could someone take my rod out oh mate that was nearly in my fingers and i'll carry him across could you take my rod mark yeah. just drag no we'll take him over and get some photos yeah no 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 i'll carry him mate you sure It's got some weight on it, mate. So we have just weighed this smooth down. He's 24 what? 24.6. 24, 24 and a half. 24.6. 24 and a half pound. He's got a bit of uh, girth on him there. We're just going to get a quick photo and then get him back. I don't want him out of the water too much. So I'm going to get some photos. Mark's going to get some photos with me holding it. Let's see. Right, well, Mark got wet landing this fish for me so i'm gonna get wet putting him back <laughs> oh, that was the deal, wasn't it? yeah that's the oh, deal mate that's the deal so here he goes i'm cradling him underneath whoa i'm gonna get wet here oh, go on off you go mate go on go on there he goes there he goes I'm very happy with that. He has gone. Well, there we go. Woo! That was good. That's a good fish. Well, whilst I was halfway down the beach fighting that, I've neglected this bream rig, so let's see if there's anything on it. You've had a little bream. Yeah, well, a little auxiliary bream, yeah. auxiliary bream, yeah, yeah. little Vesugo. Yeah, there's nothing on this. This has been stripped, so I'm going to get the big one out again. Covered in sand, that is. That needs a good old hose down. Well, very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. 24 and a half pound uh, smooth down. Um, my first big smooth down in the Canaries. I've had loads of little ones, but uh, I'm very, very pleased with that. That had a nice bit of uh, meat on the head. Um, 
and I've never hooked one before so I didn't know how they fought and um, it definitely kited down the beach um, and a couple of minutes into that fight I realised it wasn't a, a ray but um, very pleased with that going to get rebaited get another bait out um, it's just given me that little bit of an adrenaline rush to keep fishing for a little bit longer but we're way past midnight now don't know how much longer I can last then having to drive an hour back in the dark let's see Well, it's gone a bit quiet. The tide has dropped quite quickly. Pete's got quite a bit of weed on his line and I think he's bringing it in for the last time, aren't you, Pete? Yeah. Yeah, loads of weed. Loads of weed, so he's going to sort that out. Yeah. I think Mark's going to be doing the same. Yeah, there he is up there. Don't know if you can see him. I'm going to get the light on him. There he is up there. So, I suppose, better bring mine in. Well, that is this session done. Pete's here, Mark's just over there. We've packed up. Weren't a bad first session, was no, it, Pete? Good, Weren't good. bad. Yeah. Mark's just over there putting his last bits of rods away. I think he's had five or six auxiliary bream. Pete, you had a little stinger, didn't you? Yeah. A little bream? Yeah, a little bream. Well, I've had a little stinger and the smooth out, which was really nice. So, for the first session, can't complain, can we, mate? No. Look at us good. in matching tops, eh? Yeah. It was good, didn't it? Um, anyway, I'm pleased. Pete's pleased. I think Mark's pleased. Mark's experienced for it for the first time. Let's go and see what he says about it. But, I'm very happy. Mark! How did you enjoy your first, or did you enjoy your first fishing trip in Puerto Ventura? I did, mate. You did enjoy it? Was it? Very good. Busy as well. Yeah. Busy, wasn't it? You had a few green, didn't you? Yeah. A few green. I'm ready for my bed, yeah. Ready for your bed? Yeah. It's like it's 20 up. past one, 20 past half past one in the morning. Yeah. We've travelled all day. It's been a long day. Now time to get some sleep, ready for tomorrow. <coughs> We're all fished out for one day, aren't we? We're fished out, well, in a few hours time. We'll be back doing it again, won't we? We'll be back on it again, back on it again. Anyway, until the next video, tight lines.